Hi, this is Anthony Fosicek from Ohio Daily, and I'm here today with Toledo mayoral candidate Keith Wilkowski. Welcome. Hi, Anthony. How are you? Very good. Uh, thank you for joining us. You've got a five-minute pitch here, so I want to ask you, uh, why you and why Mayor of Toledo? Well, uh, Anthony, I'll tell you what, why me? Uh, I think that Toledo needs uh, to have a uh, progressive Democratic mayor, um, and, that's, uh, and I'm the only progressive uh, a Democrat in this race. Um, and I'll tell you what, that, that means some things uh, to me. Um, we just came back from a press conference at which I was pleased to uh, have standing behind me a whole cross-section of Toledo's uh, labor organizations uh, and representatives from the building trades, from uh, the UAW, from uh, a whole host of um, um, labor organizations who are concerned about um, the future of the middle class in Toledo, Ohio. You know, we've come through in Toledo some very difficult times. We're going through some very difficult times. Um, and more than anything else, uh, we need to have a mayor who can focus on uh, jobs in the economy. Uh, Anthony, that's what my background has been in. Uh, I previously served as a county commissioner when we did some uh, good things to help bring uh, jobs to uh, the Toledo Airport, uh, a thousand good jobs. And, and later on, I was city's law director, uh, city of Toledo's law director, when we put together really progressive uh, tax sharing uh, zones, uh, joint economic development zones, where today we have between four and 5,000 people working. Now, you know, the, the private sector, they create those jobs. But the government always has had a, uh, an important uh, and strategic role to play in that process. Now, you know, I, I'm the candidate who's ready to play that uh, role and play it uh, appropriately because, you know, while we have budget problems here, we need money for police officers, firefighters, and to fix our roads and trim our trees, that means we have to have people working uh, and working in good, uh, solid, uh, middle-class uh, jobs. And so that's why I have focused on, for example, having a, a great opportunity for us here in Toledo uh, in manufacturing. We can never give up on Toledo as a manufacturing community, uh, particularly in the uh, solar field, which we are leading the country in uh, the development of solar right here in Toledo, Ohio. Other communities talk about it. We're doing it. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really pleased about being able to support those efforts where we have between six and 7,000 people employed in the solar industry right now. Uh, but the, the city of Toledo really has been absent from the table uh, in trying to promote uh, these industries that are our future. Uh, I'm going to be aggressive on that front. Uh, we also need to be able to put people to work uh, in green collar construction jobs. Uh, now those jobs will uh, not only allow us to put uh, potentially thousands of people to work, uh, we're going to lower our utility bills, uh, protect the environment, and improve our house, housing stock. Now that's a pretty good. Th those are some pretty good things, uh, and it's not uh, pie in the sky. It's very possible uh, with the right leadership. Uh, and finally, you know, Toledo is a. Uh, transportation can be a, a transportation hub, but as uh, people have continually bemoaned or underutilization of our transportation assets, uh, it's because of uh, our um, uh, failure to recognize we need to build ourselves up as a manufacturing community. Uh, we can't uh, see our manufacturing base go away and then expect that we're going to be a transportation hub. Uh, but the good news for Toledo is that there are bright things on the horizon, not only in uh, freight transportation and intermodal uh, facilities, but also as a high-speed passenger rail hub. Uh, Toledo is going to see that come through us, uh, through Toledo in an east-west uh, route. We need to work to make sure it's a north-south one as well. So I, I think things are bright. Uh, people should vote for a progressive Democrat. That's me. And uh, so that, that's, that's where things stand. Let me ask you one quick follow-up, and then I'll let you uh, uh, give your website and one last plug here. Uh, your campaign has been very good on talking about the you know, job creation and economic issues, but you've also touched on some other things that I think have caught the attention of some folks, including us here at Ohio Daily, including a, uh, a task force you put together for domestic violence. Can, can you talk right. a little bit about that real quick? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, one of the things, uh, Anthony, that I've uh, committed to is uh, creating a, a commission on women's issues. 
um, which I think is really very much needed here on the local level. You know, when ill forces visit our community, they visit themselves upon uh, women in far disproportionate numbers in poverty, uh, in unemployment, uh, and certainly in domestic violence. So one of the things uh, I was pleased to be able to participate in is assembling a group of people uh, who would uh, address uh, domestic violence uh, here in Toledo. In Lucas County, every 28 minutes, uh, a 911 call is made uh, by a victim of domestic violence, and 85% of the time, uh, that's a woman. Uh, now, the city of Toledo is on the front lines in that, in that uh, uh, fight uh, because uh, we have uh, the police uh, department under the jurisdiction of the mayor, um, and, and, you know, the, uh, uh, the court system is here. So I, I think that there is... Uh, a tremendous uh, amount that uh, the mayor, uh, a mayor can do in focusing on that uh, very, very uh, difficult uh, issue. You know, we need to attack that not just uh, uh, after the fact, but trying to do things um, in ways of prevention. And so when the city has, for example, uh, athletic programs with uh, young uh, children, uh, there are programs that um, help teach uh, boys, uh, young boys, you know, respectful gender relationship. There's a great program that, that wasn't going to cost us anything either called Coaching Boys into Men. And as the father of two girls and two boys, uh, I think that that kind of uh, culture uh, that we build is so important in paying dividends down the road and avoiding uh, domestic violence to begin with. Uh, and then, again, making sure that our community's assets are working together to address that problem, um, you know, when it when it does happen. So I think that these are the kinds of issues that uh, are confronting the voters in Toledo. I'm I'm I said I'm proud to be a, a progressive Democrat, and uh, I, I am looking forward to uh, uh, hopefully doing doing well next Tuesday. Very good. You have a few days left. Do uh, you want to give out your campaign phone number and website if you'd like? Sure. Um, our uh, campaign phone number is uh, 419-724-7917. Okay, that's 419-724-7917. And we have a website, which is www.keithwilkowski.com. And that's K-E-I-T-H-W-I-L-K-O-W-S-K-I.com. Very good. Well, thank you very much for uh, for taking the five minute pitch here, and good luck to you on Tuesday. Thanks, Anthony. Bye now. Take care.